Coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight division collision. Well, he's one of the more accomplished strikers in this division. Sprawl and brawl, whatever you want to say, he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. It does not matter how he accomplishes it. All he wants to do is be on his feet and at range, hitting you with the beautiful jab, staying away from the grappling exchanges. You don't accomplish all the things that this man has accomplished over the course of his career without understanding distance. He has great distance management, which then in turn allows him to land all these beautiful diverse kicks, spinning back kick, jumping high kick, so many things he possesses that he will try to use tonight in this fight. Yeah, if this turns into a kickboxing match tonight, over. most it's people over. believe, yeah, his opponent is in a it's world over, of trouble. All right, so an interesting stylistic clash here. Prevailing wisdom is he's going to try to take his opponent down and get off some of that patented ground and pound. Yes, and once he's on top, he starts to just gain control first. He does not try to rush to the next position because he understands whether or not he's in the guard, half guard, or side control, he can find ways to land big damage. In the side control, he does a really good job of going knee on belly, posturing right. his body all the way to the top, and just coming down with big punches. Boom, once he lands, he goes back and he secures. Right. Then he goes back to find another, another big strike. He does not waste energy just throwing little rabbit punches. Everything has to matter, as you've seen in some of the great grounding pound fighters we've right. ever seen, like Jack Hermanson, guy that beats you into the bottom of the octagon until you roll over and give up your neck to get submitted. Yeah, nothing pitter-patter about it. No. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, a referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now! This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 165 pounds. Fighting out of San Francisco, California, Lee. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a wrestler, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 264 pounds. Bulletproof. Okay, protect yourself at all time, will be my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. So here we go, this highly anticipated fight is now underway. Looks like a classic matchup of striker versus grappler. Am I simplifying things too much? In this instance, you aren't, because this is what got these two men to the show. Right. One guy is known for his diverse attack on the feet. The other guy is known for his ability to drag the fight to the mat and put his opponents in danger from the very start of the grappling exchanges. Man, look at him load up on that right. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Well, no problem getting inside to land that straight punch. He's got a huge edge in reach, and he made good use of it there. Circling away towards the left now. Punches blocked. Slips. Connects with the right hand. Pretty good punch, that one. Nice right punch by this young man. Big powerful punch land. Now he gets back to range. Good 
such a fast leg kick. He loaded up there on that high kick. And those knees aren't just for effect. Those are doing real damage. Oh, good knees here, DC. If you're on the wrong end of those knees, what are you what are you doing to adjust? I mean, you got to be getting out of those positions where he's kneeing you. You got to be keeping those hands a little bit low to protect the body. You got to just really, truly be working the entire time you guys are in close. That knee might have landed there. Oh, these are some impactful knees he is throwing, and I guess until his opponent adjusts, might as well keep throwing them. He's going to keep going to the well. Why would he change it? His opponent has not been able to figure out these knees. That knee might have landed there. Oh, another knee by Lee. Oh, shades of Ben Saunders against Brandon Wolf back in the day. A lot of knees, a lot of volume here. I'm not sure how many more he can take. My boy John Anik is a encyclopedia of knowledge and threw it all the way back. But those knees will definitely take effect the longer this fight goes. That knee might have landed there. And yet another knee finds the target. Strong work there by Lee. Well, we know knees to be some of the most destructive strikes in MMA, and he's got that part of his game going tonight. He has got the knees going. He's throwing them in bunches. That knee might have landed there. Another knee by Lee. So a combination of knees here. You don't see this all the time where a fighter will, will throw multiple knees, but if it's not broken, they'll fix it. There's no takedown threat. If there was a takedown threat, he would not be throwing so many knees. But there's no threat of getting taken down, so he is just letting those knees fly. That knee might have landed there. Solid knees again. Oh, nice job with the knee strike there. That'll wake you up. He thought it would be available. He just knew. He has to find the right time to throw it. That was the right time. Oh, combination of knees. That is not what he is looking for. He better raise that guard quickly. He better raise that guard or he's going to fall asleep. You cannot allow someone to knee you in the head. Oh, these are some devastating knees, as we might say in Boston, some wicked, effective <laughs> knees. I love when you talk like that. I know you. I think it's so, so good. <laughs> but this a guy. I love the way you talk, but I love the way this guy fights. And he's throwing those knees in order to shut the lights off of his opponent. Oh, and once again, he's landing some really nicely timed and placed knees here. And his opponent has just got to do a better job of blocking these, finding a way to get in the way of some of these significant strikes. Timing his shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. Oh, good knees here, DC. If you're on the wrong end of those knees, what are you what are you doing to adjust? I mean, you gotta be getting out of those positions where he's kneeing you. You gotta be keeping those hands a little bit low to protect the body. You gotta just really truly be working the entire time you guys are in close. That knee might have landed there. Oh, shades of Ben Saunders against Brandon Wolf back in the day. A lot of knees, a lot of volume here. I'm not sure how many more he can take. My boy John Anik is a encyclopedia of knowledge and threw it all the way back. But those knees will definitely take effect the longer this fight goes. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very busy. Boom, body kick right there, landed perfect. All right, now we take a look back at some of the action in that previous round, DC. A lot to like on both sides here. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? They meet in the middle. That's exactly what they did, and they both found success over the course of that round. All right, DC, here we go with our next round. It wasn't just the accuracy, it was the aggressiveness, the volume. It was really to watch. It would be so active, the cardio, the push, the pace, and the pressure that he fought with. It's going to be very interesting to see if he can maintain this over the season. Nice job to land the knee there by the taller fighter, and I think I just heard Daniel Cormier say, I wish I was a little bit taller. You're taller than I said. Misses with that punch. Oh, head kick blocked, though, by Lee. Well, he's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Nice job there to find a home for that jet. Hit 
there. Oh, he's the taller fighter and able to land a knee to the body with relative ease there. one of his more significant lands of the fight. He can land that strike over and over again. He's, he's limping now. Liver kick. Sound defensively here as he stays upright. Double leg takedown, no good. And there comes the separation now. He's so committed to body punch. Big knee lands there. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. Tie plump. Nice connection with a the punch there. It's hard to recall a time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. He's never looked this good. Oh, he hurt him back with the jab. Oh, he lands a straight punch there, DC. We'll see if he can follow it up now. He has been throwing this strike over and over again. Look how crisp and straight he is. Just a slip there. Distance gets the single collar tie. Now he's got the boy tie block. Body kick now by Lee. Oh, and he connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great job finding the range to land those punches. Oh, single collar tie here. Ooh, what a head kick. Trying to hammer that lead leg. Oh, brutal knee to the body. Guys, really throwing with authority. Oh man, his leg kicks are outstanding, and you saw a great example of that just there. And you see his opponent starting to slow down. He cannot take many of those kicks. Oh, really using his reach advantage there as he lands the punch, DC. That was the nice right. Really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. And they separate. Oh, you gotta like the output here. So aggressive with the strikes, he continues to light him up. Gotta be careful here not to gas out, of course, but you gotta like the offense we're seeing from him, especially in this round. Oh, look like that left hand found the target. Found the target as it has on so many occasions tonight. And now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch, and I think a lot of people watching wonder how you can control an opponent like that. It's hard to get out of. It's very difficult to get out of. Look and notice how tight his elbows are as he's maneuvering and moving his opponent into positions where he can get off the strikes. Well, what a round it was, and how about that flying Superman punch at the end of the round? Not a lot of fighters will try it. He did, he executed. And it worked, right? No discouragement from his opponent to make him not try it. Why not try it? It's working, so why not try it again? If his opponent isn't careful, he will get knocked out and be on a highlight reel for the rest of the time. Visibly limping here. 
Well, just as he did the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Oh, and he caught the kick. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Checks the leg kick. Big kick lands. Now connects with a right. Slips the punch. Ooh, big shot lands. Just out of range with the big right hand. Oh, left hook to the head, it's blocked. Kick lands. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Nice punch by Lee. What a body kick. Boom. Timely defense there. Huge block for him. Well, you admire the effort there, but the left punch counter is no good. Attempts the front kick there. He is going a fast, great hard jab. That's not a feeler jab. That's one that's really knocking the head back. Continues to work out of that tight clinch. Oh, nice elbow. Lee gets in the clinch. It's the elbow there. It almost looked like he went limp there for a second. Oh, shot to the body connects there. He hasn't really thrown too many body strikes in this fight, but now, as this fight goes on, he is not discriminating, working the body, and those shots are gonna count. Some nice back and forth action here. Well, he's up, but he is hurting for certain. The finish could come at any time. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. Oh. Oh, look at that top. This fight's gonna be over this. What a great way of mixing up his attacks. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high with his opponent, thought he was going low. And now he's got him hurt very badly. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it. Lighten up his opponent left and right. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Knee to the body. Blocked. Nice punch there by Lee. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Head kick. Oh, what a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish his fight. Checks the light kick. Good stick. Very nice light kick there by Lee. Visibly limping here. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Look at the turnover in that kick. Lee's hook shot is blocked. Saw that coming from a mile away. Oh, big roundhouse attempt, but unable to land. Oh, big punch land. Doing a nice job putting it all together. All right, single collar tie now. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship round.
right, so a big knockdown in that last round. DC will show you the replay. Nearly had him out of there. He almost had him out. He had him gone. He hurt him real bad. He thought the fight was over. But the night will go on. The dance continues. Will this be the final dance? All right, next round is now underway. Hopefully the action continues at a high level. Pretty good first five minutes. Pretty good first five minutes. Both of them can really pick it up. Let's see who decides they're going to lead the dance as we go forward. Oh, and that is it. Referee has seen enough, and maybe so have we. Your winner by TKO. That was a great performance. Way to land those strikes and go and chase down the finish when you get an opportunity. So a big win for him here tonight, and a big statement made with that TKO. Let's see how the promotion chooses to matchmake him moving forward. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at seven seconds of round number four. Declare the winner by TKO Lee. Well, what a win for that young man tonight by TKO, and if the judges were looking at their phones, it's okay, we don't need the scorecards. We don't need your scorecards. Do as you may, proceed as you may, because this guy knew that he had to finish this fight. That's exactly what he did. He got his opponent hurt, found the follow-up shot, and got the finish.